I was just blown up. <laughs> my brain just blew up. I think my head just stood on edges just listening to this man say that. And this is like the many ways in which a lot of men, unfortunately, young men, older men, uncles, grandpas, have come to normalize cheating. I remember like being so distressed, being in a similar situation like that. And a lot of, especially older women, a lot of them might not even be sleeping in the same bed with their husbands anymore. Or they might be still be married, but living separate lives, living in separate homes completely. I've seen this many, many times over. They're in the same home or in separate home, but they're still married in them. As many of us women are afraid and they will tell you things like, well, yeah, all men cheat, all uncles, all grandpas, all men, all men, all men, all husbands cheat. So you should stay with them. So they can go and bring you STDs. So they can go and get you all yeasty constantly because they're dip, dipping their dinglings all over the place. Give you UTIs. I'm just playing UTIs constantly when I tell you the stories. Like, honestly, it's so sad. And I think we need collectively let our voice matter and have enough self-worth within ourselves and collectively as women to not normalize and make it okay and pat men on their backs that go cheating it's a happy ones whatever like i don't really even know how that goes but if chronic cheating as well and that's made to be okay it just have break it in my blood but if you know you're gonna be in a monogamous relationship and you're gonna cheat and break somebody's heart or break a whole family apart and cause broken homes and that's your way why don't you just go into a, a relationship with someone who accepts I'll go ahead and say it and what's that ladies it is dumb to leave your man because he cheated what it's not dumb for nobody to leave anybody for cheating come on tell us why it's dumb now if he's a cheater yes but because he cheated what you gonna do? If he cheated on me, wouldn't that make him a cheater? You gonna find you another man? Hell yeah, I'm gonna find me another man. Why would I stay with somebody that cheated on me? That don't struggle with infidelity? Yeah, there are plenty of men that don't struggle with infidelity. We all do. See, he's speaking for y'all. I don't think all men are cheaters. Do I think they have cheated before in their life? Yes. Do I think people can grow? Yes. What if somebody said our women are cheaters? I would feel offended because I'm not no cheater. And if it's a man out there that's telling you he don't, he lying. Um, how you gonna say somebody lying? If they say they're not a cheater, they not no cheater. Just because you a cheater, don't put that on everybody else. But don't take my word, boy. Your word don't even seem like it's real. It seemed like a joke. Tell me this. How many women you know that hasn't been cheated on? I know a lot of women that have not gotten cheated on. But I also know a lot of men that get their ass cheated on, too. Don't worry. I'll wait. Exactly. If somebody leaves somebody for cheating, that does not make them dumb. That just makes them stand on what they said. Like, they know who they are, they know what they want to accept, and cheating is one of the things they want to accept, but why not leave? That don't mean the next person is going to cheat on you. Yes, I've been cheated on before more than one time, but that doesn't make me say the next man that I meet in my life is going to be a cheater. I didn't hold that against the next man to say that he's going to be a cheater because that one was a cheater. People grow. I got cheated on when I was very young. And when I say very young, because I'm almost 40, I say in my 20s, I got cheated on. And I feel like I dated young, immature men at the time. And don't get me wrong, people grow and be still immature. And it's not just men, it's women too. 
but I don't put that on the next person because if a man put that on the next person and say, hey, you a cheater because this woman a cheater, I'm going to be pissed off because I ain't no goddamn cheater. So I don't believe that, but this is what y'all got speaking for y'all, this type of person.